Hey everybody, welcome to Web3 Money, where we learn to navigate the world of crypto and Web3 to uncover hidden opportunities, get in open positions with different ecosystems, wallets, dApps, centralized applications, and whatnots. So the first thing that we're gonna get over into in this video is how to actually open an account on a centralized exchange you want to go over here and sign up i personally already have an account so i won't need to really do this step but you want to sign up over here you want to put in your email you want to put in your password and if you have a referral code maybe you can get some bonuses who knows so once you already put in your email address and your password you're pretty much going to be sent an email authentication to your email address you're going to have to copy it it's going to look something like this and you just have to copy and paste it that it shows up and so how now do you buy cryptocurrencies okay because that's the big question so now i'm personally going to be using mexi in order to demonstrate this but you could do this on bybit you could do this wherever you'd like and here you could see over on, on bybit you could do it over here and you could buy some cryptocurrencies right away so the way that you want to buy cryptocurrencies is that first you want to take you want to go over here you want to navigate to this top bar it's just it should say here buy crypto so but what we want to do you want to go very simple we just want to buy it with our credit card or debit card whatever it might be okay so once you are taken to this interface you want to put in the amount of money that you want to buy whether it be a thousand dollars whether it be fifty dollars i think this is the minimum is fifty dollars but let's put in the amount of money that we want to purchase once you're okay with this okay you essentially it takes 91 cents in euros to buy one usdt and you want to click continue you want to put in your credit card and i'm going to do that right now and then i'll be right back okay so once you already purchase your cryptocurrencies in usdt or euros or gbp whatever it might be you're pretty much want to go back to this interface to the front page it should be signed in already or whatever it might be and now you want to actually see your cryptocurrencies you want to go over here and navigate to wallets okay because here is actually where the cryptocurrencies are going to be held okay so now you could see i actually made my deposit of 51 usdt just like we talked about literally it came over here you could check all the details and whatnot you could tell the network that it was used and and this is a little bit less relevant information for this video but we could definitely cover it in future videos as well so let's go back and now let's go to the second step so now that we deposited some money inside our account we have our 51 dollars that we deposited we actually want to put that to use how do we use our usdt i want to go and navigate to spot spot is usually where you go do your regular trading without any leverage no margins no nothing just regular trading whoever is unfamiliar with those uh with those terminologies and is extremely new to even investing then i would probably come out with a different video sometime in the future but it's a little bit less relevant so but you want to go navigate to spot you want to go purchase your cryptos now you heard from i don't know your neighbor's dog that he made a million dollars off of Bitcoin four years ago. And you're like, you're hearing that the hype is back up. And now you're thinking that this is the perfect time to buy, which it is. It's it's halving. But let's get down into it. Now, you can either put a price limit for buying and also for selling. These are pretty much the price that you think it's going to reach in order for your order to be filled. So meaning if I want to open a position, I want to buy Bitcoin and I want to put a limit order. I think that it's actually currently it's sitting at 63, but I think it's actually going to go to 59,000. So what I want to do is put my order over here and then I want to put in $10 because I'm just getting started. Why not? And I want to put my order for at $59. So you see your trading pair BTC USDT. It's a limit buy and the price and the quantity that you'll be getting total USDT. No more read miners for me because I don't need this. So now that I put my order, you're going to see that it shows up somewhere around here. So now whenever Bitcoin goes down to $59,000, you will get your order filled. Now, when we go to market order, 
that is the place where we want to buy cryptos right away we do not want to wait any time we want to buy at this current price at 63 thousand one hundred and sixteen dollars i want to buy at this price i don't want to wait i think it's going to go up right now that's my speculation so i'm going to buy crypto right now because i don't want to wait any moment remember that if you're on limit it might take some time for your order to get filled in because it's a very specific number but if it's a market order then it's going to get filled right away so you're going to see i put ten dollars and my order ordered successfully and it's not even over here it's actually over here you could see btc is at 631 right now that's 631 i bought here we go wow so now that we understand how to deposit some money how to create an account how to actually purchase some bitcoin or whatever token it might be now you could at least start your journey in web3 and in crypto this is just the base you don't want to get too complicated on having too many different wallets on having to learn all these different types of protocols and networks no we're going to keep it simple just buy bitcoin or buy some cryptocurrencies just get familiar with the action of trading it and swapping it that's actually going to unlock opportunities for us to be making money whether it be on-chain analysis or technical analysis or whatever it might be we want to be ready for everything and this is the base this is 101 okay because if right now i see that i don't know cardano is about to explode i need to know how do i trade my bitcoin that i'm currently holding if you could see my bitcoin right now that i'm holding my 60 dollars worth of bitcoin how am i transferring this okay into cardano how do i do that now it's very simple actually it's quite simple what i want to do is essentially go to my bt BTC USDT pair, the pair that I essentially bought or the pair that I want to trade my cryptos in. And I don't want to leave anything. Now you see, this is all the Bitcoin that I hold, just like it shows. Where is it? Here we go. Yes, I have to move this camera, but yes, it shows right here. 0 0.000956, 0 0.000956, okay? So now I want to sell that into dollars. What do I do? You could do limit, meaning that if you see that it's going to get to you want to sell at sixty eight thousand dollars because you think in a few days or in a few i don't know hours is going to get to sixty eight thousand dollars then you want to leave it at sixty eight thousand dollars because that's your speculation but if you feel like you need to sell right now because you have a better opportunity somewhere else you want to go into market you want to sell right away you don't want to wait i'm going to click sell and boom my order is filled and now i do not hold any more crypto or bitcoin Yes, and you see, I am no longer holding Bitcoin is completely out of my wallet and I'm holding my USDT like I like to. Thank you for watching, guys. This is going to conclude the video. I really hope that you guys found this useful, found it meaningful. Now you can get started with your first journey in cryptocurrencies and Web3. This is literally just the basics and we're only touching the surface. This is literally nothing into what's going on to Web3. And I really hope that you guys stick around, continue to watch my videos. Drop, by the way, a comment if you know a better way on exchanging, buying, or doing any type of thing in crypto. Really, I'm always open to learning. And if you have any comments, drop them down below. I want to help you guys. I don't want you guys to stay in the dark because I know personally, it was very hard for me at the very at the beginning to navigate my way around crypto. How do I buy? How do I sell? How do I do this? How do I jump on this opportunity? How do I jump on this network? It was kind of confusing, but we don't want to make you guys confused. We want to get things very simple. So if you have any questions, if I'm not clear, please also drop your feedback down in the comments. I want you guys to tell me I'm getting better. I need to get better at making this content for you guys because it's you and me as well because we're going to make money together. Let's fucking go. Okay, I'm hyped up. But yeah, like, subscribe, guys, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.